Welcome back. Let's take a look at your Wednesday headlines. In Washington today, Republicans will try again to reopen limited parts of the government. But Democrats and the president say it's all or nothing. And around the country, Americans are feeling the effects. NBC's Tracy Potts has more from Capitol Hill. Tea partiers insist most Americans don't even notice the shutdown. They got their mail today. They're going to get the Social Security check. But around the country, mothers and children have lost food assistance. Some Head Start centers closed. The CDC is no longer monitoring flu. Hawaii is losing $50,000 a day because the USS Arizona is closed. We cannot go in. It's, it's just a big disappointment. The commissary is closing at Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard, so workers are getting rid of perishable food. Even for hurricanes and tsunamis, I've never seen it this bad. 800 civilians furloughed at Camp Lejeune. That's money out of their pocket, money to pay the bills, child care, schools. With national parks closed, this California class had to cancel their camping trip. I was sad because I really liked the trip last year and I wanted to go again this year. And the joint resolution is not agreed to. In Washington, votes that failed Tuesday are scheduled again today to fund parks, museums, veteran services, and Washington, D.C. only. Democrats insist they won't do it piecemeal. President Obama blames the Tea Party. They demanded ransom just for doing their job. And across America, frustration. Congress needs to be turned over somebody's knee and spanked real hard. Now, those votes I mentioned could pass today in the House with a simple majority, but they're expected to go nowhere with Democrats in the Senate. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. Well, despite the shutdown, members of Congress are still getting paid. The Congressman Blake Farenthold has told the government to hold his pick until all of this gets sorted out. Meanwhile, Farenthold says Senate leaders have an it's my way or the highway attitude, and that's just making things worse. As far as what the House is trying to do to make a deal, Farenthold says it's already offered concessions on Obamacare, agreeing to fund parts of the law, but he says that hasn't really gotten them anywhere. We're ready to go here in the House. We've uh, sent five or four different bills over to the Senate. Uh, they've turned down every one. The last one asked them to appoint conferees. Those are people to come over from the Senate and negotiate with the House. How can you negotiate to get the government back open when one side won't even come to the table? Now, Parenthold and many other members of Congress have been working nonstop to try to reach a deal. They're hoping to have some kind of agreement sooner rather than later. Well, if you're feeling